Hey, what's going on guys? Andrew here with Car Mechanics in 2021. Uh, what we're going to do here with this one is we are going to make ourselves a triple black M4. Now, triple black, what that means is black wheels, black body, and black interior. So, let's get started on it, shall we? Bring it over to here. Get rid of all this crud off of it. Wash the booty. And yes, we have already done an M4, but I figured this time it'd be a little bit different. It'd look a lot nicer when we're done with it, you know what I mean? So, let's bring this back over to where we were. Let's bring it to garage entrance B. And we'll bring this in, we'll swap it out with the Viper I have in there. Now I'll strip the body panels off of it. Got a good mirror, crappy hood. The windows all need to be replaced. The lights need to be replaced. What's this door? What kind of condition? Hey, we got a door we can save. Alright. As far as I can tell, that's it for parts. Okay, bring over our welder. There's the M1. This is the my status update on it the block still in it but we did the uh, we got all the wheels and tires and stuff for it right now bring the welder over and while this is working on this for 1400 bones we'll come over here we'll try to fix the parts we can there's the mirror there's the door oh not quite yet there we go. I may as well fix the fender since we're here, right? Awesome. Alright, so, like I was saying, is this is going to be pretty much a straightforward build. We're not going to be painting really anything. We're not going to get rid of any colors, on, changing any colors, making anything all color detail oriented. So what we'll do is, first off, we'll get the interior sorted. And we'll look, we'll see, do we find what we're looking for? I don't think so. Uh, we is definitely looking for an M4 if there is one. Which, there is no back seat, I should know better, there's a roll cage in the car. But we are going to be looking for the seats. Oh, Beamer seats, where are you? Ah, there we go, right there two of these and we need to find the steering wheel which is right there awesome now if I'm not mistaken this has the s55 in it yes s55 twin turbo so we'll buy some parts for it right now I need the compressor uh, we're also going to need the air box which I believe it is type A right there and then we need, uh, we need a belt tension, I can't remember. Yeah, if it needs one, we'll buy it when, when the time comes, right? And then we need any special cam gears. I believe there is. Could be wrong, but nope, there it is. I believe it needs two of them. Okay. And it needs 14 cam caps. I remember this from last time. The other BMW we did took 16. But this one only required 14. Or was it 12? Eh, we'll get 14 anyway. And then the... Let's see. We need the Reservoir D. And the dual fan assembly. Okay, reservoir, Oop, don't need that, we're not building the Skyline or a Supra. And we also need the crank, oh look at that, landed right on it. We need the crank pulley, uh, I can't remember if it was four or five bearing caps we need, so we'll get five. Now we need the motor, where is the block? Right here. And we'll keep it cruising. We need the engine cover. 
And we'll keep cruising again because we're not getting the head from here. We're going to go after market for that. Just give it a little bit extra zing. Now something's telling me we passed it. Hmm, yeah, it's right there. I found it. I found it. Uh, I feel like we're missing a bunch of parts here. But we do need a fuel tank. It's right there. We'll buy the pulleys if we need them. And see, inline four oil filter. Which makes zero sense to me. We need the intercooler. I believe those I can get the intercooler pipes. I believe I can get those aftermarket. We need the oil pan. Six rings. We need this, this, uh, this, this, and this. Perfect. We need six of these. And we also need the billets. A. Is there a B? Hmm. Yep, right there. Do we need a C? Nope. Perfect. Now we're ahead of the game. As far as I know. Uh And I also got the uh, 911 Turbo uh, Porsche done, which I'll probably bring it out of stores, let you guys take a peek, see at it. In my opinion, it looks fantastic. I mean, it, it looks sharp. And the beauty of these motors is there's no t real timing covers for them, because it's right in the new tear. But we do need a water pump. Which is right here. And any special water pump poise do we need? Or is it just the regular one? Just the regular one, we have that. We're going to go over to here. We're going to grab the clutch release bearing, a drive shaft. Since we're in here, we may as well grab the brakes. Probably have a bunch of those, but we'll grab one anyway. And suspension, let's see, what do we got here? We got cross member D. And we also got steering knuckle D. And sway bar B. Okay. So we, we only need something like this off the front. We need a couple of these. The pieces to go with it. Two of them. One of these. Definitely only one of those. A couple of these, a couple of these. Oop, too far. Uh, the knuckle housing A. We also need two of those. Ooh, what's, what sway bar does it need? Sway bar B? Yeah. I don't know if I bought those, but you know, we'll buy it anyway. Never hurts to have a little extra. A couple of those. We need the hub of three. And four bearings. Alright, now we gotta go do performance. I never bought the clip B's for the airbox. I knew I was forgetting something. I just knew it. Now, camshaft. S55. Right here. Two of them bad boys. And we need an ECU. I'm pretty sure that that's what it was. We got Illinder head. 
and we need this fancy fancy exhaust two of them and an oop pump filter and we also need a fuel rail now it's got this style coil set up on it so we need six of them I'll keep it cruising alright S55 right here nice and chrome dope Woo! We're gonna have a little bit of chrome on this bad boy. Aha! I knew I could get them performance wise. Now, oh, there's an intercooler here that's performance too. Huh! Look at that, I'm just throwing money out the door. Six of them. Uh, I don't believe it actually needs power steering, which is weird. And throttle. Make sure there's nothing else we need. Oh, brakes. We'll put these ones on. Need clutch plate, pressure plate, flywheel. And then let's see if we can't find ourselves the exhaust for it, shall we? Uh, shouldn't be that difficult because it's all S55 stuff. Exhaust section B. Where's A? I need A. Oh, wait, there it is, right there. And we need the middle section, which is right here. And then we need the mouffleur, which is right here. Awesome. Anything else anybody can think of besides the body panels, which we'll do when we get. Oh, yeah, we also need the gearbox, which is the S55 right here. All right, got all that. Let's go build a motor. Oh, hello. That would be the motor for the M1 Pro Car. So we're gonna pull that off the stand, create a new motor, which is right there. Put the block in first. And we got a back out. Rotate it. Ugh. That, that grinding sound gets me. Let me start the installation process of it. So how's everyone doing today? Everyone having a good day? Good evening? Good night? Good morning? Wherever you're located around the world? We've had a fairly decent day today. Been working in the shop most of the day. Almost there. Now let's see if I remember how to get everything without missing any parts. the videos to you the folks the people want to see they want to see short videos long videos but because of my recording device here I can't really do shorts for YouTube so that's why I mostly do all a half hour or more videos to make it worth the while all right time to oh, back out time to flip the motor oh grinding gets me Put the head on. All six bolts. Aha, I did get it right. It is 14. Put the oo filter on. Plug one. Oh, I can put the coils on right away. Cool. Well, we're going to keep this car raw. 
What I mean by that is no paint. Except for the body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Seven caps. I just gotta remember when we go back to the car, I gotta get four clip B's for the, for the airbox. The type A box. Alright. Now we're doing the cam caps. gear on yeah okay they're both the same uh oh I messed up I'll scroll all the way down I make some people dizzy. There it is. That's the one I needed, right? Yeah, tiny shoot A. We put the other tiny gear in. We put the chain on. Put the other timing shoe that goes right here, C. We got A, B, C. Then we put the head cover on fuel rail I grab that yes I did all right I'm gonna put the oil filter on I'm gonna do the exhaust with the turbos six cylinder twin turb ski Alright, now we're going to switch to the other side, put the intake manifold on. Ooh, look at that nice and shiny chrome. We're going to put throttle. And work our way to the front of the motor. Alternator. Glad to see the car has AC and not, you know, power steering. Water pump. The water pump pulley. I already had a bunch. We need the belt A. Oop, nope. I gotta go belt B. The intercooler on and then the intercooler charge pipes. We've got another cover going on top of this, which is right there. Beauty. Let's give it a quick once around, make sure everything's on. Looks like everything's done. Perfect. Now we go work on the car itself. Now, what size wheels do we need? So we're going to go 30 front and rear we can go 20s so let's do two MTs uh, yeah we'll go four 20 race tire two 20 285 
30. And we'll go 220, 265. Oh, that's 55, 30. Awesome. Now I'll put the car up in the air and get it ready to rip everything off. And while we're doing that, we'll also go put Oh, gotta go paint the wheels. Gotta go paint them. If I can walk, since I'm walking into everything. I hope these are the wheels that go solid one color. Yes, they are. No, they're not, but... truly defeats the purpose of what I'm trying to accomplish here. Hmm. Bear with me here for a few minutes. I'm trying to figure out... Oh wait, wrong thing. I'm trying to figure out if there's one that goes solid color or if I gotta deal with the uh yeah okay there it is so it would be C Ugh. we need four of these 20s perfect and that's kind of quick Just double check, make sure, yeah. Got the famous BMW logo in the center. wheel. Now we will mount them, balance them, and yeah. GTSC. We'll do this last one here. Ooh -wee. Probably should have went with the race tires without the uh white lettering on it, but whatever. Oh, stay still there. Got a little dizzy by the looks of it. Lost the wheel. Balance it, since it's already mounted. Go take the spring or shock absorber A off. I also haven't bought no electronics for it either. I'm able to do that real quick. 
Well, we already got the interior pieces. Need the module, the pump, a box, and I can't remember what the starter is, so we'll just get both of them. So nice metal. I've got to spray everything out. I like that. And I do apologize for the people who have left comments. I have not been able to see them. I don't know why I can't see them, but something is stopping me. And I'm trying to figure it out. Like I said, just making videos and posting it, I'm all new to it. Because I really would like to get everyone's feedback. About how I can improve it, what I'm doing, what you like to see, what you don't like to see. Helps me become a better creator, and it gives you the content that everybody wants to watch. Be okay, more okay, folks. Pull off the sway bar. Leave after this. We can pull this cross member out. Yep. Awesome. Take out this portion, gotta spray it. Look a little stuck. Yeah, a customer sent me the junkyard looking for it. I sent him a picture of it and he's like, Yep, yeah, I wanna see it. And I showed it to him and then he's like, Yep, yeah, build it for me. So we're building a customer, a triple block BMW M4. Should be a beautiful car when it's done. One hopes anyway. called me back to the original shop here. I still got my shop that I'm trying to start up and get off the ground there. I'm slowly making progress on the cash flow of it. Alright, now we do this. And then we do this. Pop up the center cap here. The bearing. Or yeah, bearing, the rotor, the wheel hub. Now it gets to be a pain when those bolts, bolts get frozen. Half the time they do not want to come out at all. But we suffice, we make it work. Let's 
time now what we're going to do is we're going to take out the three bar end link the shock absorber front A we're going to take out the outer tie rod inner uh, pop the sway bar out Boop. pop the rack out lower control arm Take out the last bushing. Cross member. And we work our way onto this. It's a process. Now, the question I do have is do you folks like seeing going to the junkyard to find the car? Um, buying all the parts for it? Watching me screw up. All right, we're gonna drop this down. Uh, probably be over here. Yep. Just trust me. Huh? I do a lot of screw ups in this. Put this back. Put it in the All right, let's get in here. Let's get this all done. Yeah, that's something that gets me. You can pull the motor without having to drain the fluids. <laughs> See? I screwed up. You can pull the motor without having to drain the fluids. But don't drain but don't pull out a, a tank without without draining the fluids because then you get made really a big whopping fine of fifty dollars. kind of silly if you ask me but eh, it is what it is what the whoa, whoa, whoa back this up here a minute I'm out of A's I'm out of A's gonna buy 50 50 of them perfect now let's put this back in now before we leave, let's, well I guess I can't very well do that. Oh, it'll, it'll yell at me if I did something wrong. Now we'll come over here, we'll put this in. We'll do this. Oh, well, bam! Yeah, it's the only one. Hello. Now, do I have any clip bees? No, I do not. Of course not. Why do I have any? I have it. Many, many parts for everything else, but no clip bees. Now, I don't like to buy an extravagant amount of those because those are parts that you can paint, or pieces that you can paint, and it fills up my, when I go to paint the part, fills up the entire um, list, and then it takes forever to find the actual parts I'm trying to paint because I gotta go through all 50 of those. It comes a real pain in the bullet. ready to put the car up in the air and do the suspension awesome 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 when we bring the car to the paint shop is when I'll do the interior yeah fuel tank battery little muffler Rear muffler, front exhaust section B. Oh, it's going to be stubborn like that, isn't it? Oh no, front exhaust section A. All nice and shiny chrome. Is there any better way to do it than have chrome? It looks nice. I already saw that one. I'm on it. We need 50 of these. Holy, 600 bucks for bushings. Now get over there. 
stubborn. Rear A on, rear suspension arm B. Looks like I got a few small bushings. One of these days I want to do a rainbow car. Put it every color I have. did that before and it was a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I also did all the paint work on it, chrome. Which is quite, proceeds to be quite a lot more challenging than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, doing the hub on this side. Put the bearing, axle, rotor, pads, caliper, brake cylinder. Holy smoke -a I see I know what rotors I'm running on the M1 Pro car. You figure it's a race car, it's running the carbon, the carbon fiber brakes. 285, 30, 20. I see you. Hard to find. Put the shock, rear shock absorber cap on. And we can put this on. Put in the B arm. Once you go bzzz down the road. Oh, forgot the upper arm. Perfect, look at that. We're making good progress here in my opinion. Might not be, but you never know. So when I do them myself, and they're my vehicles, it makes it a lot easier. This customer that I have that always wants these cars done, well he's easy to work for too because everything has to be new. Nothing used, nothing old. Which, speaking of used and old, I'm going to be starting a junkyard video where I take a car out of the junkyard, and once it's out of the junkyard, then what we do is we purchase parts and pieces for it, and the rule is no store. I can fix the pieces that I find in the junkyard. And yeah, that's going to be a time consuming video. That's going to be a multiple part series, we'll say. Like I, like I said in the previous video, it's not that easy to find them. I entered the Bolt Cape one time and I literally spent just looking for, or the, not the Bolt Cape, the Bolt MK7. I literally spent over a week looking for the door. Now don't get me wrong, the car turned out beautiful. Which I'm pretty sure I've already shown the picture, or I've already shown it. section coming up with that. D 
the other bush or er, other bush. Wow, I'll be okay tomorrow. Odor tie rod is what I meant to say. And then once that's on, we do the sweep our end link. And now we work on this section. The hub, the bearing, the cap, the rotor, the pads, caliper, and the wheel. We got to put the wheel on. Awesome. Drop this down. Go grab the motor off of the engine stand. Oh, that's shiny. Shiny new. I didn't, I didn't turn that, but whatever. Install. Did I seriously just have... Oh, yeah, I guess. I'll move it back for car lift day. Alright, we're going to add the fluids in here. That way then when we're done putting the transmission and drive shaft in, we can just run the car straight over to the paint shop. Put the coolant stuff in now. Or as I should say, the antifreeze. It does have to run through the system and pressurize it, so I'll put the oil in. Power steering fluid. And then after this it's brake fluid. And we done this part anyway. Sucks not being able to see the level on it. Oh, there we go. Too busy paying attention to the birds, I guess. Break fluid. Perfect. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Almost made that mistake again. Put the transmission. Aha, I knew I was forgetting something else. And though I didn't paint the pan for the transmission, it automatically comes that color. Put the starter in. Connect the wires. Move it back, connect the drive shaft. The ABS pump and module, I can put that in when it's in the paint shop. Perfect. Let's see where we're at here. Body, 1%. Wow, that's solid. Interior needs to be done. Parts. Uh, yeah, ABS. So we'll run this over to the paint shop. You. Hey, that's a good fender. start installing pieces what I did I did buy the body panels didn't I huh well, I got the doors I got a mirror huh I guess I didn't buy any a bumper glass fender I can't remember what mirror it was. I love having... I just bought two mirrors. Probably got three of them now. Sometimes it's nice having an unlimited budget. Hey look, a blue door. Did I forget to put a door on one of the other ones I built? I might 
have to go back to the old boneyard there and figure that one out. Dang, I can leave the car just like this. I wouldn't though, but I could. license plates, yep. What he's doing? Alright. Oh, wrong one. I'll bring it over to the test path so I can do an alignment on it. But before we do that, we need to do the interior. You know what, after this, let's hit the dyno. Alright, to the dyno we go, let's see what we can make for power. Probably running somewhere around six, 600 to 800 horse. Eight eighty one and seven hundred and sixty five foot pounds of torque. It's all the turbo, it's all the turbo. Alright, we're gonna move this back to car lift peaks. I'm gonna do the windows, which should give it a nice effect. Oh, wrong one. Side the B. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Alright, folks, that concludes our video for today. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel, and uh, we shall catch you on to the next one. Have a good one. Bye.